What up, what up, ZX Farms, Kai Farms, New Jersey Predator, Alex Lexus. Shout out to Nate Pierre, my buddy, on the Facebook page. Um, right here, today, I got my Speedo Healer. Uh, what's supposed to happen, since my brother-in-law is not here, he's still on active duty right now. Um, what I'm going to end up doing is uh, doing just a quick unboxing for the uh, Heal Tech. Uh, speedo healer now Nate gave me some advice where you know calibrating it against the um, the GPS and I think I'm 17 sprockets uh, I'm a ha I have a 17 and a 40 here in the back um, that was from the prior owner but we're gonna get that uh, checked out but here oh a sidebar Remember, those of you, and shout out to Wilmer Papa, he keeps making fun of me. Um, my solo seat cow, I lost two of them. Nate sold me one that was carbon fiber, and I got this on eBay, and the this freaking hook broke, so I had to make one with a hanger, and just put like the little adapter thing on there. And then it clicks on every time. I don't know. Some of you guys might notice when you get these from eBay or China, or whatnot. They don't always fit directly. So well, it's getting warm and people want to start jamming. But in any case, now it goes on click. So if you do a hanger trick and kind of do some wrapping, I should have did a video on that, but. That's just a quick sidebar. It looks nice and, and thick, and it's not coming off. So that was always an issue. But anyway, back to this unboxing. Camera girl's not here. Uh, she's at my cousin's event. So we're going to try and get this cut. But hold on. Let me get my, my blade. Yeah. All right. Back to the bike. Alright, so we're going to pause this as I cut this open. Alright, so. Open this up. I'm doing this with my left hand. I'm somewhat ambidextrous, but it's still not an easy. Ah, so these are the cables. They're going to go into the stock harness. To the speed sensor. Now, the good thing is, with this, Speedo Heel Tech. Make sure you check them out, good stuff. Actually, I got my GI Pro from them. But, alright, so here's the wiring harness. Okay. And let's look at the Speedo sensor itself. Okay, so here it is. Just as they said it would look like. I guess that's the top speed recall, and they're so kind of me, kind of themselves to give us a uh, zip ties. But I already know how to install it uh, with a lot of the info that's already on YouTube and whatnot. But I may do another section where on the my other motor where I have the spun bearing, we're just gonna you know do some practice clicking and uh, making sure everything's set up. So we'll be right back. All right, here we here we go. All right, what sucks is I live by a freaking train, but look at Lola, that beast. She is awesome, ain't she? Take a picture of that. All right. Anyway, now just doing a part inventory. Let's make sure that we have what we're supposed to. All right, I had to take a quick intermission, but doing a quick inventory. Here's the Speedo Healer unit itself. And it comes with the uh, double-sided tape as a courtesy. All right. This is the top speed recall but, uh, button. I don't know where I'm going to put this yet. But, you know, Alex Lexus, ZX Ninja is very creative. I probably will put my own button or own switch on there. All right. I don't know if it lights up or anything, but we'll see. All right. So, we got that. So, you should have one two all right and this was pre-cut because like i said i'm using my left hand pause 
to get your minds out together. All right, and this is the wiring harness. It's gonna go into your speed sensor by your um, your front uh, sprocket. All right, so just making sure all is good. The three pins. So you got the the male and female. Right, and it'll just bypass to here. Now, since I'm alone, I won't be able to do the whole video the way I want to, but uh, I'll see. This is the service part one, but we're gonna really take this over to the motor, my down motor, and I'll uh, just test it out. All right, uh, Ninja Knights. Uh, I'm trying to come up with some funky names, but here's my old motor with the spun bearing um, I just have it here for parts if you're looking for parts I got a working throttle body two brothers single exit exhaust with delete pipe I got a whole bunch of crap but you know just inbox me if you need anything but uh, now right by the sprocket this was a set this is a 17 this has been sitting here for a bit just trying to you know make do because if Lola has a problem I can always come here and pull some stuff together. But anyway, now right here you got the speed sensor cable, right? Now on the bike it might be a pain to get to, but uh, I already tried to loosen this thing. But I'm going to take it and you just want to pinch and pull, all right? So right here. We gotta take the male end, which looks like what's on the motor. Alright. You're gonna plug this in. Ugh, this sucks. How do you left handers do it? It's, it's, it's hard. <laughs> but in any case. Alright, I'm gonna put this. See, it goes right in. Clamps in real good. Alright, and you take the other end which is just like the bypass and you're gonna stick it right in there no just snap on but that's where it's supposed to bypass and that's how it reads its speed all right so with this kit you can't mess up like literally it's keyed it'll show you how to do everything and this will go to the speedo healer so since it's being since it's easy I might be able to knock this out so We'll be back. All right, the predator could not do it alone. Camera girl showed up, and I, it was just hard. All right, so what's happened is um, what you want to do on a direct your attention down here. Yeah, I need a little chain sprocket, but I'm running a 1742 configuration. Um, that's how I had it from before. I, I didn't see a need to change, but uh, what's happened is on the bike, you make sure you you take off your uh, sprocket cover. It'll make life a little easier. And the sensor is right, like I showed you in the motor, it's like right up in there. It, it, I would highly suggest needle nose pliers and just kind of shimmy it. You'll be able to get it out. But uh, with this, Right now, like I said, it's key. You can't mess this up. Now, what I want to do, I'm going to turn on the bike and show you that I pulled off the sensor correctly. Right. Now, I'm going to engage it in first, and I'm going to let it roll. It's not going to show any, any speed, right? So, yep, not registering speed. So, I pulled off the speed sensor. So, we're in good shape. So, all right, we're back in this room. So, I know I pulled out the, the, the proper section, and literally, literally, had I had extra hands earlier, this would be a 10 minute insole. Like, no joke. It's the easiest thing to put in there. Um, I'll probably have to do the GoPro with the mic so that we can actually go through the calibration. I'm going to do it not too far from my house where me and my brother-in-law where I was teaching him how to ride motorcycles 
was brought. Yeah, the predator could not do this one alone. So um, let me see if I can put this in with you guys watching. All right. So right here, you're gonna put the male right in there. This little lip you want at the top. So it's gonna snap in there. Now make sure you get your configuration right. I have 17, 42 in the back, all right? You're gonna need those numbers so that when you're using the app, whether on the desktop, on your phone, you can plug in the numbers and then I'm gonna do my GPS calibration and make sure that um, I keep everything speed, sprocket, and the differential from the GPS and the, the onboard dash, right? So it's gonna make sure we get everything corrected. And once I get that in there, I'm just gonna run the wire up to the back. And then, uh, you know, I'll probably release Camera Girl. I'll be able to do that one on my own. But like literally, I'm gonna plug this thing right in here. So you get a nice snap. I'm trying to talk like Bob Ross over here. It's literally just a bypass cable. Try, I'm gonna keep making attempts off camera because uh, it's like really in there. But see, right there, the three pins. Put the female right on top of it. All right. So we're gonna take an intermission. I'm gonna take the fairing and the seat off, and then kind of run the wire up. All right. See, all right, my peoples. I had to put the little decal on there. Oh, also a plug to 360 Fly, putting their stuff, promoting. Got the little bug on there, but back to um okay everything's installed zip tied to keep it away got the sprocket uh cover back all right my top speed recall button i'm still trying to find a good spot for it but uh i ran everything actually i need to pull this up good thing i didn't zip tie it down because uh i actually want some more slack i kind of ran it under the tank so that uh I can really hide this thing, but um, I'm gonna put everything back together. Uh, and this is where I, I had this thing hitting, right, right through the seat. Uh, I'm definitely gonna tuck it away. But the install so far, right now, is complete. It just, you know, put everything back together, and then uh, now we got this speedo healer set. Um, well, installed, and then I'll get everything else. Uh, set. Well, one thing I did want to point out it comes with the velcro, but I think double-sided tape Would have been better, but it's strong. It's not moving So nice seated uh, I'm gonna make sure I have like a little cover to keep from the buttons from being touched But we're gonna pass the key and make sure that uh, it turns on All right, let me see something I'm gonna check to see if something, uh, I'm gonna engage it. Ah, it's reading really high. Alright, we're gonna get this thing fixed. So, put it back in neutral. Alright. Yeah, it was reading really high, like 10, so, gonna have to get that adjusted. But now I have more control, so Lola will be put back together and we'll be back. Alright folks, everything is installed. Uh, I'm gonna put well, where'd I put the seat? Oh I had the cow. Put that. That's pretty much it. So the next is part is the calibration. You hear that pop? Nice. I really like the solo cow. It has that Batman look to it. But anyway. Uh, what I ended up doing was zip tying the button up here. All right, if I need it, I'm I'm thinking I'm gonna change the button to something else. But it's right up there. It's out of the way. You won't even really know it's there. But top speed recall button. I decided to go with all the options. So the install is complete. Um, 
I will do another part of the video just talking about the calibration but um, the instructions I see I'm gonna have to use um, was this the Ulysses app or Waze uh, those two apps are uh, very good with um, speed accuracy so I'm gonna go ahead and get that started All right, folks, this is the last part of the video, uh, the actual programming, All right? So uh, for me, I have to do 161, as you, you're going to see in the post-production, the picture. So I'm going to hold the two buttons down together. All right, so the L is loaded, right? So I'm going to hit select. And now it's on the P for programming. Alright, so once I, it told me to go uh, down 16.1, uh, so I put the 1 for set, hit select to, to load it, then I'm going to hit set again to the value 6, then select, and then I hit set, and hit select again. And it should have been loaded. I might have made a mistake, but oh, that's way off. Looks like you know what? Let me start over. So it's okay to make mistakes. All right. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna start over and get to loading mode. Okay, load. All right, I so said hit set till I see the minus. I don't know if you can see it with the flash on, but all right, hit select so one select set the second value to six, select and do one. So that's, and it loaded it. Perfect. All right, that's what it showed me. Okay, so I'll probably take. I'll do another video. We'll see because it's already too dark out, and I've been working on this for a little while. But that's how you load it. You program it, and it's gonna fix my speedo. We'll so, all right. Being said, make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. Check me out on Alex Lexus ZX Ninja um, on YouTube. Shout out to Nate Pierre for kind of giving me the tips on what to do on our um, ZX owners page on Facebook. If you have a Generation 2 or 2006-2007 model, join that page. It's good stuff. So, this is Alex Lexus, Predator. I'm out. I'll see y'all later. Let's go.